Many of you know that the first bill I introduced on my first day in office four years ago was to set up California's public umbilical cord blood collection program. The reason why I'm so passionate about this issue, my neighbor's son was one of the first in our country 20 years ago to get a cord blood transplant and it cured his leukemia. And uh, this year he's a senior in college. Um, I took an oath that if I was ever in a position to help other children, other family members in need of stem cells to cure their diseases, uh, I would try to help. And so I introduced AB 32 four years ago, and I bring back AB 52 this year, which houses the California Umbilical Cord Blood Collection Program at the University of California. And I would like to thank uh, the bipartisan co-authors um, certainly ACOG, uh, the sponsor of this bill, has been a tremendous advocate and truly the, the warmth and bipartisan spirit that has embraced this life-saving um, use of stem cells that are discarded as medical waste. We have 550,000 births a year in California from the most diverse blood supply in the world and we throw 99% of those rich stem cells in the trash as medical waste. That is ridiculous and stupid to see people dying waiting for a donor when we have that ability at our fingertips 550,000 times a year. This bill got off the Senate floor 33 to 1 today, again enjoying broad bipartisan support and frankly, I just want to thank everybody. This bill has had nine lives. It's been alive and dead and up and down over the last two months. And it's just an honor and a privilege to bring it to the floor today. And again, I see Mr. Anderson, my, one of my co-authors, rising uh, to support it in a bipartisan spirit. So again, I appreciate all of the help from the sponsors and the advocates and all of the folks who helped move it through the process over the last two years. And I respectfully ask for an I vote. Mr. Anderson. Members, I also rise in support of this bill. It is, uh, uh, I know that some members may have a, an issue with, with the fee that's associated with it, but this is a small price to pay for the, for the advancements we get in science, for the opportunities to, to help and cure people. I urge and I vote. Mr. Hoffman. Madam Speaker, I rise in support, and I know this is not Mr. Portentino's last bill, but I think it is a bill that deserves special recognition because few members have arrived on day one uh, in their service in this limited term, term limit era uh, with such purpose and mission. This was a cause with great uh, personal connection to Mr. Portentino and his district, and he has worked tirelessly on both the policy and the politics. So uh, it's with a lot of satisfaction, I think, for, uh, for you, Mr. Portentino, as a colleague and a friend, that I'm, I'm putting up a yes vote, hopefully for the last time on this bill. And uh, great work. Colonel Cook. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I also rise in support of this bill. Uh, it's, it's somewhat ironic that the author had talked about nine lives, or this bill having nine lives. And you talk about, what, what are we talking about? We're, we're talking about something that actually gives hope. that can actually save a life. You know, the first time, if you've had leukemia and you go in there and you get that blood test back and the doctor says to you, well, you know, your blood count doesn't look too good. And we're gonna have to do a bone marrow test on you to see how bad it is. You know, you, it really, really changes your, your whole perspective. And when you go that morning, and I was at Cedar sinai Mike, you know that hospital very well, which I think is one of the, the greatest hospitals when we're talking about this issue here, bone marrow, research in that area there. And as I said, I'm talking specifically about leukemia, because I've been there, done that, where they can kind of tell you, yes, we have something for you. Something three years ago that, if it wasn't there, if you didn't have the research, you'd be dead. This is one of those bills. 
that I think the author has, has found the, the meaning for it. He obviously has empathy for those of us who have been, had the misfortune to have something like that and other related diseases. But when you look at the research, you look at the data, you know, and the hope that it gives to so many pe people, particularly young people. You know, I'm older than dirt, so you could argue about whether how many years I got. But this, I actually think, is a great bill. I, I know that many of you are concerned about that, the fee going from $1 to $2 but I truly ask for your support and passage of this meaningful bill that will give life to so many people. Thank you. Mr. Portantino, would you like to close? Thank you, Colonel Cook. Um, three years ago, a 13-year-old girl read about the cord blood program, and she asked me when she was gonna get access to stem cells to cure her sickle cell anemia. And I had to tell her at the time that it wasn't funded. This funds the program. Thank you very much. Please vote aye.